Exercise science is the study of what goes on in your mind and your body once you start moving. So really in order to understand exercise science, we need to understand the principles of psychology for behavior change. We need to understand all the biology and the chemistry and the physics of human motion. We need to understand the underlying chemistry that would go on in nutrition. So we take a lot of different majors and ideas from different disciplines and combine them for the applications of exercise. Typically, we see a lot of athletes who want to stay involved in being physically active or the sports world after graduation. And that's how I got involved, is I, I was an athlete when I was younger, and then you know everyone else got tall and I didn't. And I just studied exercise type classes to, to keep that connection. But really, anyone who wants to help other people Exercise science is designed, whether it's a physical therapy type career or a health and wellness type career, you're helping other people to feel better about themselves, to be able to move more fluidly, efficiently, um, and just increase everyone else's quality of life. I love seeing light bulb moments with students, whether maybe a student comes here because they just want to play their sport, but they realize that this is a really interesting subject and they realize that they can make a difference in somebody else's life. What's really good about our program in exercise science here at the University of Providence is that we have five different concentrations. Students can get not just a strong base in exercise science, it's not a one-size-fits-all program, but we get those strong foundations, but you get more intentional career preparation through your academic studies. I have students who are coaches uh, with team sports, with strength and conditioning coaches that work in gyms as personal trainers, uh, and I have students that have been accepted into graduate programs for athletic training.